So I don't want the haptic buzz update on my one wheels. This video is going to show you how to be able to use an old version of the app, block its access from the internet, uh, but this way you can connect to both your boards if you have multiples, uh, change your ride mode, etc. Your app probably looks something like this. You know, you've got the uh, haptic buzz app update. This is not prompting you to firmware update yet, but if you go through this review feature and then you connect to a board that has a firmware update, it will prompt you to update it. So anyway, um, we're going to close this out. We're going to go and uninstall the app. We're going to delete the data first. All right, so app uninstalled. Now you're going to go to the Play Store and grab something called NetGuard. This is a firewall app. Um, this will allow you to block internet access to specific apps. After we've done that, we're going to go grab the old version of the One Wheel app. I was using APK Pure. There are ads on this website, so please be cautious of what you click on. You're looking for one of these links will take you to a landing page. I'm going to get 22.6.18, and now you're going to have to scroll down. You can see there's ads here, ad, ad, but you don't want to click those. You are looking for this link here. Um, ads can be malicious. Just be cautious of what you click on. Um, so we're going to give Chrome storage. Sure, I've already, already downloaded it. So once that finishes, we're going to put the phone on airplane mode, and then we're going to go install it. Now, it may prompt you to allow, you know, essentially side loading or installing apps from um, third party sources. It may it may prompt you to allow that from Chrome. I've already done that here, um, but essentially there's just a little slider. You have to turn to the yes side to allow that. Uh, so we're on airplane mode. We can open the app and go through this prompt. So we can give it access, allow Bluetooth. All right. All right, so there's a cut here. It took like four times for me to actually get this to work properly. We're going to turn Bluetooth on and now we're going to flip airplane mode off. This is tricky. You got to do this quickly. Now the board is on. We're going to connect to the board. It's going to activate. As soon as it activates, go turn airplane mode back on and then you can close the app out force close it. Really, this is the tricky part. If you take a little bit too much time after it activates or before you click, you know, the one wheel to activate it, uh, sometimes the app has enough time to phone home and tell you that there's an app update. If that's the case, you're going to have to go back a few steps to where you install the app and start over. Following that, we're going to go back into the firewall app and turn the firewall on. Uh, essentially, what we're doing there is checking both of the Wi-Fi and the LTE checkboxes. And then in the top left corner, you're going to make sure that that, um, that firewall is ticked on. Now the app works. Um, so you're going to have to go through that step again. If you have multiple boards, it's very tricky. Um, you're essentially, you have to do it quickly. Like I said, it took me four times to actually get it. But, um, but that's pretty much it. And then the only other thing you need to do is to go into the Google Play Store and prevent the app from auto updating. And then whenever you're prompted to update it, you don't update it. Um, that's the only annoyance, but otherwise it works great. I've been using the app without an update for about a month now. Hopefully this guide was helpful. Good luck installing the old app and connecting to your boards.
Uh, it may take a few tries, but it can definitely be done. So best of luck.